hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes Edo state has been on the news lately just because tomorrow is the d-day less than 24 hours to go for the governorship election in the state campaigning activities have ended uh, everyone um, is just um, waiting uh, INEC are doing their bits they are doing all they need to do um, to get the, the, the stage set for tomorrow right now the news we're getting is that Obaseki has made a strong statement I told God not to give me power if it will cost the blood of anyone Obaseki says ahead of this um, election, Obaseki has uh, uh, um, spoken up. He has truly opened up um, that he's not desperate. I mean, that is what that is what that um, statement means. That he's not um, going to be desperate about um, his second term bid. However, we know very well that he has given reasons why he wants to come back on the second term to consolidate on all that he started and to complete all of the promises that um, he made to a do like um, when he assumed office in 2016. We'll bring you all of the details shortly, all that Obaseki have stated. Um, but before we do, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do give us a thumbs up, click on the like button, and don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button, it really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again, and God bless you. Yes, we'll go straight into the news now and grab all of the details. The Edo State Governor and Candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Mr. Godwin Obaseki has said his second bid ambition is not worth spilling the blood of anyone, reassuring that Saturday's governorship election in the state would be peaceful and violent free. Speaking shortly after one-day prayer and fasting session for a peaceful election organized by a Edo Christian community for all the governorship candidates ahead of the election, Obaseki urged eligible voters to come out en masse without fear of intimidation or harassment. The governor noted that there was no need for any form of violence during the electioneering process. He expressed confidence that with the support of the people and his administration's performance in the first term, his party would emerge victoriously. This was contained in a statement by the special advisor to Edo State Governor on Media and Communication Strategy, Mr. Kruso Osaige. Obaseki said the church is the pillar on which we rest. And therefore, I have no fear whatsoever. I take actions and the people say I'm very courageous, but it is God and not me. I have the church and God behind me, so why should I be afraid? Ordinarily, an election is supposed to be a contest where people go to sell their ideas and citizens in their own free will go and vote for those ideas they believe in. It shouldn't be one where people would do anything to get power. The election should not be one in which we shed blood because election would always come. If you die in the election, you will not be there in the next year to vote, so there is no need for violence. It is unfortunate that where we are today, we are all afraid that there will be trouble, that there will be crisis and violence, but by the grace of God, we will all come out and vote and there won't be any bloodshed. There is no need for violence and if anybody decides to act violently, just walk away because our lives are very precious. I have a covenant with God. If it costs the blood of anyone for me to get into power, he should not let me have power, Obaseki noted. On his part, the National President of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, PFN, Reverend Felis Omobunde, prayed that God will make peace reign before, during, and after the election. God commits Edo into your hands, and by this covenant we proclaim peace over Edo, peace before, during, and after the election. The church speaks with one voice that those that have sold themselves to work against the destiny of Edo shall be overwhelmed by their problems. In this election, rigging and evil will not have their way. When knock the engine of their operations, Edo people shall go out and vote their conscience, and the will of God will be done, the clergy prayed so yes uh, my people yes this one is really commendable what obaseki has done um they did uh, they had a, a fasting a one-day fasting prayer ahead of the governorship election for peace to reign for everything to go smoothly and he has stated this commitment is really a strong one he said he asked god that if 
if there's going to be, if his re-election is going to um, take away the lives of people, then let him not win if it's because of him that um, lives will be lost. And I, I think this is not the first time Obasek is saying this. He has said this before that um, if his re-election is going to uh, um, cost the life of people, then uh, he doesn't want to be governor. And he has stated that um, God will not even forgive him if he takes it that far, if he takes it to that level. It looks like someone that is speaking from conscience. We want to trust and believe that all other political, um, uh, uh, all other candidates, governorship candidates as well, will, will be seeing things from this same perspective that it's not a do or die. If you listen very closely, you see that this doesn't have to do with desperation, even as much as he, he wants to come back and consolidate on all of his um, projects that he started. But the most important thing here that he's speaking, that I can see, I want to believe that he means all that he's been saying is that um, a, the life of a dolite matters. That's what he's talking about because he made a comment that if the people coming out to vote, if violence erupts and they lose their life, the next election, they are not going to be there to um, come and cast their vote. So life is very, very important. Quite commendable. This is a commendable one. And then we can hear what the clergy prayed. The clergy prayed that um, the engine of those um, that want to perpetuate evil, their engines will be knocked down. Their plans will not come to pass. That is a good prayer. No one wants violence. No one wants um, evil. Because if the violence gets to a stage, INEC might just declare the election inconclusive and that will even be worse. At the end of the day, they impose someone on Edolite who they don't um, want. So let everything go peacefully and let Edolite vote their conscience, not vote party. I used to say that it's not about PDP and uh, APC. It's about good governance. It's about fight against corruption. It's about the people, the well-being of the people, everyone treated fairly, not um, those that have access to Godfather enjoying, and those that don't have, they suffer. That is not what Edo wants. We want uh, um, the best for Edo state. So, guys, we hope that um, everyone will vote their conscience. That word is really strong. Let everyone vote their conscience. Who they believe will do Edo well and who will move Edo state forward. Thank you, guys, um, for staying tuned. We really do appreciate appreciate you thank you once again please um if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet do go ahead my people give us a thumbs up show us some love click on the like button don't forget to subscribe as well hit on the subscribe button you know as the day draws near it's just barely hours we're going to be getting a lot of updates so when you um click on the subscribe button as soon as we upload you get them firsthand thank you once again bye for now and god bless